it's funny watching the two of them work because they have a kind of a similar quality, which is they have a way of keeping a scene loose. They stay with the text, but they always find little things, little wrinkles to just keep the other actor on their toes. And they also do this other thing that is great, which is with off-screen stuff, they are incredibly inventive. They come up with things that are right on the story, right on the scene, yet they're just different enough or shocking enough that they get these incredible reactions out of people. And I've been watching Bradley do it for five weeks, and it was really kind of fun to see someone come and do it to him, where he, you know, he's so in the moment with playing a scene with De Niro, and then suddenly De Niro does something that's just a little bit different or just downright shocking and you get these great reactions. NZT is an experimental drug and again this is one of the things that's interesting is this is not really a science fiction idea. It's really an idea that probably as we speak is going on because what it is is you know, there are drugs like Adderall and Provigil that, you know, college students take to help them study and they actually seem to work for people. So, you know, we're right on the edge of the controversy about, well, if, some, if you can take a drug that makes you smarter and allows you to focus better, should you take it?